Hey everyone, and welcome to part 27 of how to clone a Pokemon game. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to actually swap out a dead monster from your monster's inventory. So, if you're in combat and the monster that you're fighting kills off your main monster that you have equipped, you want it to exchange out for the next monster in your lineup that's still alive. So, the way we can do this is just constantly checking if our monster is alive, and if it's not, we want to call a function to find the next available monster that has more than 0 HP. So we can just jump into our code real quick. And what we're going to be adding is this new function here. Now, as stated, it's just for swapping out dead monsters for alive monsters. So as long as you have an alive monster in your monster's inventory, this code will be called and it'll end up switching out your monster on field for one that's alive. And we're also going to be, yeah, just setting this up and using the return function. So I don't know if I've covered return or you could also use the break function. But the return, what it'll do is it'll constantly be going through this loop until we hit this if statement. So if we're going through all our monsters in our inventory and we find a monster with greater than zero HP, per HP, uh, we want to set monster on field i, so whatever we were on when it was going through the for loop, we want to assign that to our new monster on field. And then what we want to do is return. So in this case, if we go through our for loop and we go through all sl six slots and we find that there's no monster currently alive, then we want to call this code, other.exitCombat. So as long as something is found, it'll return and it will not call this piece of code. That's what return does. It'll go through t uh, until it hits that statement and then it'll just exit out of the for loop and not call anything below it and it'll just exit the function. So another thing we have to change really quick is up here is our if statement. So we're going to be changing that to monsters inventory, monster on field, and if our monster that's currently on the field is less than or equal to zero, then our monster died and we want to uh, go into our function for combat change monster. So we're going to be swapping out for a different monster if that monster is available. Let's see real quick. So if we scroll down here to copy monster real quick, I ended up changing zero to I. I just wanted to get a little bit more variety with the monsters so we could actually see them being swapped out so you guys can change that or not change that if you want. So we'll go and jump into gameplay real quick. And we'll go to our monsters inventory. So you can see here that now we have a variety of different monsters with different uh, different pictures and different stats and whatnot compared to what we had before. And that's because it's putting each monster from our all monsters in order into uh, that array. So we can go and jump into combat real quick and I'll show you guys how this works. So since we have our combat system set up right now so it would actually kill this monster, uh, we're just going to go in here and change this, uh, the stats, so that it moves on to the next monster. So if current HP hits zero for our first monster, it switches to our second one. And what we can do is we can just close that go down the list to current HP and keep setting it to zero and you can see it going through and setting the next monster in the list. If we keep doing that, it'll keep scrolling through. And I just want to show you guys just exiting combat once we hit the sixth monster. So this is our last monster that's left alive. If we hit zero, we exit combat. Now currently we don't have a system set up so we go to a center and our monsters get healed or anything like that. So if we run around in this grass, we encounter a monster. You see that it quickly goes into combat and then exits combat. That's because we don't have any monster that's alive currently. So each time it goes to um, check if there's a monster alive, it'll constantly be exiting combat. So yeah, uh, so eventually we're going to set up the center and make it so you'll get healed. So whichever center was the last one that you, you know, healed your monsters at, that's the one you're going to get teleported to. And then all your monsters will have full HP again, uh, depending on how you want to set that up. I mean, you can set it up however you want. We're just going through and just coding 
the way that Pokemon has it set up. We can customize it any way that we want, but for now we're just covering that. 